Hello everyone and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Now today you join me at Lamborghini Pangborn, where I filmed before, I filmed my Lamborghini Huracan Performante in-depth tour here. But as you've seen from the title of the video, I'm not filming an in-depth video today. Um, today we're going to be collecting EV Hire's latest fleet edition, a brand new Lamborghini Urus. Now of course, because EV Hire, as the name suggests, is a hire company, this is a sort of collection day with a difference. You know, it's the same kind of thing as the G63 we collected a few months ago. It's not just about them collecting a new car and it's exciting for them. It also means that you, if you're based in the EU and in the UK, uh, you can have a chance of driving a Lamborghini Urus yourself. So I need to wait for EV Hire, um, him and maybe his team to get here. I think we're also going to be joined by Paul Wallace from Supercars of London as well. So that should be pretty cool. Now, no one knows the specification of the Urus that they've uh, spec'd up. There was a video that EV Hire and Paul Wallace did together a few months ago, specking the car up. I'm not entirely sure if they did the kind of spec reveal, so this could be a good day for that as well. Um, the main video of this is going to be on Paul's channel. This is a kind of smaller video that I'm just doing. Um, I was invited, lucky enough to be invited down, so I decided to take the opportunity. Anyway, so I'm still waiting for them. So um, while we wait, I think I'm going to show you some interesting cars that I've seen. Now, I'm actually in a very small, you know, normal English village at the moment. But despite it being a small English village, there are actually three supercar dealerships here. So, of course, we've got Lamborghini Pangor, which is right behind me. We've also got a Bentley dealership and an Aston Martin dealership. Now, of course, we've got very nice cars in there, including an SVJ, which I want to have a look at later. Um, we have this really, really nicely specced Hurricane Performante. Um, I don't know what this green is called but it's got yellow uh, contrast stitching, if you can kind of see in there. And I absolutely love these in green. I think they look absolutely fantastic. And of course, all the carbon fiber uh, on the top as well from the uh, Ala package, ALA, the new uh, fancy uh, aerodynamics package that Lamborghini have brought in. I'm actually looking forward to seeing the new Evo that's come out as well. Now, of course, in terms of Bentley, we've got a few Bentaygas. We've got a Urus, or Urus, however you say it, sitting over there. Um, and we did have a new D DBS Superleggera over here. But, of course, it went out just before I started filming. Anyway, what I think we'll do is we'll go inside quickly and we'll take a little look at the SVJ. If you're an avid YouTube viewer, you'll probably be aware they have enabled some fairly harsh copyright related regulations recently. And believe it or not, I've received copyright notifications for music playing in showrooms or at events, which is why I've decided to do this voiceover. The showroom had music playing, but I really wanted to take a look at the SVJ. The Aventador SVJ, or Super Veloce Yota, is most probably the final form of the Aventador, other than the Roadster version, and is limited to 900 unnumbered units. It comes with a power boost up to 760 brake horsepower and 720 newton meters of torque, which is good for a 0 to 60 mile per hour or 100 km per hour time of 2.8 seconds, and a top speed greater than 350 km per hour or 217 miles per hour. Weight has been reduced by approximately 50 kilograms over the standard Aventador S, and the new ALA Active Aero package has been integrated along the vehicle. At the rear, we also find a Performante inspired exhaust that creates a far deeper sound than before. Now moving away from the SVJ, we can quickly take a look at this Orancio Borealis Performante Spider with its crazy forged composite carbon interior. Then, after a brief look at the Gallardo that's also for sale, we can finally take a look at Evie Hire's car that we will shortly watch being unveiled. Now I realise this is meant to be a Lamborghini collection video, but I'm still waiting for Evie Hire and the other people to arrive. I've just noticed that the uh, new DBS Superleggera has come back to the Aston Martin dealership. So I want to go and take a quick look at that before we, uh, we take delivery of this Urus. Of course, can't forget the green on this. Absolutely love it. Although I'd go for the different wheels if, if I was speaking it personally. Now, of course, they've got the new Vantage in here before, which is also a great car. But I think that the DBS especially sort of personifies what Aston Martin really kind of stand for, you know, the sort of stretched out front of the naturally aspirated V12. 
I feel like the last DBS was more of a GT. Um, this, of course, has over 700 brake horsepower. I'm meant to be kind of competing with the F12 and the H12, super fast. You know, it's an out-and-out -out supercar. And you've got all these little aero touches like this at the back, if you can actually see that. Absolutely insane vehicle. I definitely want to film an in-depth video of one of these. And if you want to see it as well, please let me know in the comments section below. So we've got Paul from Supercars of London and Daryl from Evihar, and we're close to the moment of truth. Don't ruin it. Try not to fail, yeah? Pretty good reactions all around. What do you guys think? Do you like it? It's amazing. Yeah? It's we call it the panda. The panda, yeah, I can yeah, see why. Yeah, if you look so directly at its face, yeah. you can exactly see why. So in terms of going around the spec, um, <laughs> I can't actually remember the color of this white. I'm sure we can get it confirmed in a second. If we talk to one of the sales guys. Callum, what's the color of the white? So it's Bianco, so it's solid white. Just, just solid white, okay. And what about the wheels? So it's got the 22 inch Neve wheels, mm -hmm. obviously finished in silver. Mm -hmm. uh, and the big thing with this car, which we did when we were specking it, we did the style package. Mm -hmm. So the style package is all the high gloss around the wheel arches, mm -hmm. yeah. the bottom yeah. of the wheels, the mirrors, and the front and the rear of the car as well. Okay. It's a good contrast with the black and the white. Yeah. Full black. Yeah. The inside, it's full black leather interior yeah. with the contrast with the rest of Let's I'm sure that we'll uh, take a better look at that in a moment. But yeah, here's a really nice spec. Thanks, Thanks, Joe. Joe. Congratulations. Thank you, mate. Well it's done. awesome. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great little car. Uh, Enjoy it. Very, very happy. I think that colour combination is probably When you the best see it outside as well, mm. it's so striking because yeah. the white and the black is a good intro. Interesting. You've got the red as well inside the exterior. Yeah. What's with black those wheels out, mm. tips the windows. PPF did. It's ready for the road. Right, do you want to fire it up? Let's fire it up. Oh, let's fire it up. Well, we're not hanging around. Not today. Really. Let's go around to the rear. Now that's a, a note to McLaren of how you make a twin turbo V8 sound very like a second hand new car smells completely the new everything's wrapped up here still what are you looking for sorry it's really clean dust us the <laughs> dust <laughs> the seats, i have to say i love these wow. rear seats and they're proper like sports yeah, cars it's not stitching. just a rear bench i mean they're actually yeah. like clean. as we saw in my in-depth videos Classy. yeah oh, look at the you've stitch got the bolstering on the well. side oh, and the digital display in the center there sunroof so we also spoke about the 360 camera Really, really great. The doors are shut, you'll see. There's a little peak here. Top down view as they all seem to. Let's, let's do that. Let's get in there and do that. So I've just managed to grab Daryl from EV Hire uh, for a, a quick chat about his car. He should be a familiar face by now on the channel. Um, thank you for inviting me down and yeah, congratulations on uh, your, coming. another fantastic car. So I spoke to one of the sales guys um, about the car. So it's Bianco Icarus with the silver nape wheels. We haven't really had a proper chance to have a, a look at the interior. So if we just have a really brief, just like glimpse yeah, of so some stuff, in, yeah. if that's okay. Of course, yeah. So after you, after yeah. you. Literally just... Uh, you want to hop in the driver's side, I'll come, I'll, I'll come round. So. so just some brief details and kind of what people can expect. 
So we've got the Bang & Erlofsson, uh, the sound system. I think those tweeters may pop up actually, potentially. So it's obviously a really, really good sound system straight away. Um, Let's get the key in here so we can fire it up. The key. Yeah. Sorry mate, thank you. Okay. It's coming to life. There we go. Right, so what kind of stuff? So the upgrades we want on this car mm -hmm. is um, got the red red stitching mm -hmm. on the black leather. Absolutely really, really good. I think so. It looks it's, really good. It's just I think simple and classy. Yeah. And it works well with black and white as well. Exactly. So it works really nicely. Yeah. Um, we've got the uh, off-roading upgrade here, okay. which I doubt this car will, will see much off-roading, but it's, it's there as <laughs> okay. an option. Which is good. Um, you've also got... Of course, uh, that new Anima and Ego control, so that's really, really good. People yeah. can use all that stuff. Okay. Uh, you've also got three 360 camera, mm -hmm. which there's a way of still getting familiar with that, that one there, yeah. isn't it? There we go. So you've got 360 degree top-down view there. Yeah. Um, and that's probably different. Yeah, different loads modes. of all these different things down at the bottom yeah. where you can change it all and have the 3D view. She went well. through quite a lot of detail, I think, didn't yeah. you, with your. Uh, I mean, that's a great view. It's almost like mm -hmm. a. It does look like a Hot Wheels car or something, actually. Grand Theft Auto yeah. style, doesn't it? <laughs> but no, yeah. okay, that's really, really good in that case. So yeah. um, the car now is going off to uh, Pierce Protect, which yeah. is a brand new kind of. Um, Detailing, wrapping, yeah, it's, PPF uh, company. London's latest PPF mm -hmm. installation specialist. Okay. Uh, Expel PPF specialist. Expel PPF, so um, it's probably approved by the best. By the best. Um, so yeah, popping from the trailer now, mm -hmm. uh, heading over there, uh, put up on the ramps, mm -hmm. full PPF coverage straight away, start, start Monday morning. Uh, we're then going to um, spray the wheels black mm -hmm. and we're going to do the uh, tinted windows as well. Okay, so tinted windows, change wheels and completely full PPF. Full PPF. And then it'll be ready for people to come and hire and take out. That's it. Fantastic. Well, once again, thank you and uh, congratulations. No, thanks for coming now.